Hello, this is Kevin Jarno from Distech Controls, and I will be showing you some of the many new features that have been added to the ECGFX program version 5.3. This video also includes new features that were added to ECGFX program version 5.2. The Eclipse Controller's web interface can now be accessed using the controller's factory default hostname. For this, you need the last six characters of the controller's MAC address shown on a sticker on the controller. From the MAC address, we can also derive the controller's Wi-Fi access point name and the host name. In the web browser's address bar, enter the controller's factory default host name followed by dot local. For example, the MAC address shown on the controller or the shipping box is 76A504C1 B199. Take the last six characters of the MAC address so that the factory default hostname becomes eclipse-c1b199.local. Then click Go. This hostname can also be used when connecting to the controller with ECGFX program. The Eclipse web interface welcome page now has a new look. The controller hostname can be changed in the system settings page of the Eclipse web configuration interface. And this page has a new licensing section. The BACnet settings page was updated with more tabs to reflect the addition of BACnet MSTP support through the controller's RS-485 port. The BACnet MSTP settings are configured in the BACnet settings page of the Eclipse web configuration interface. Alarm notifications can now be sent by email. The configuration of the email notification settings are made in ECGFX program. The resource configuration window now has new configuration tree items that are used to configure email notifications such as email accounts, and notification classes. The email title and body text use plain or HTML text. Variables based on BACnet notification objects properties can be inserted. Eclipse controllers now support the Allure EC Smart View series of communicating sensors through its subnet port. The connected system controller supports up to 12 Allure EC Smart View series communicating sensors, two of which can have a CO2 sensor, and the connected VAV controller supports up to four Allure EC Smart View sensors, two of which can have a CO2 sensor. A new subnet extension block is now available to support the new series of Allure EC Smart Comfort and Allure EC Smart Air communicating sensors. The ECX light and sunblind modules are now supported by ECY series controllers. The connected system controller now supports Modbus RTU through its RS-485 port and Modbus TCP IP through the IP network. The Modbus device values are brought into an ECGFX programming sheet using the new Modbus device block. Modbus device block inputs and outputs can be linked to BACnet objects, thereby making them available for use in Envision graphics. In the resource configuration, configure the Modbus device. These are the Modbus device TCP IP configuration parameters. Or select the onboard RS-485 option for the Modbus RTU devices connected to the controller's RS-485 port. The byte ordering and options can be set for each Modbus device. Data types as large as 64 bits are supported. In the Modbus configuration, Set the data point to exchange data with. Read-only, write-only, or read-write points are supported. 
Resources in the Resources Configuration window can be added to the Envision Data Tree through the Metadata feature. The Envision Data Tree structure is synchronized with Envision when you close the Resources Configuration, thereby making it easier to navigate through the data and use the points to build Envision graphics. There are two ways to build the Envision Data Tree in ECGFX program. By using the context menu directly on the data tree to add folders and resources, or by manually entering the path of the resource, for example its location in the tree, in the resource's own configuration settings under Metadata. Here we see that the resource's metadata matches the Envision Data Tree structure. The data tree that you create in ECGFX program is reproduced in Envision. Right-click a resource in the Resource Viewer to open the Trend Log Viewer directly. Similarly, right-click a resource in the Resource Viewer or Block to directly clear the records of a Trend Log. The Find and Replace text action can be used to efficiently transform existing ECGFX program projects so as to use it for a new controller model, for example. The powerful search pattern language called Regular Expressions can be used to select and replace a complex information pattern. A list of common regular expression patterns are conveniently available. The following blocks can now be used with the ECY VAV series controllers. Actuator control, VAV differential pressure, and VAV actuator command. There is now more control over how pasted or duplicated resources are numbered and renamed according to the auto increment setting. For example, when no auto increment is set and you copy and paste resource blocks, the numbering and naming of the pasted blocks are identical to the original blocks. When auto increment to next is set and you copy and paste resource blocks, the block number will automatically be incremented to the first available number that is greater than the currently selected block type. We can see that block names that have a number in it are increased. When auto increment to new is set and you copy and paste resource blocks, the block number will automatically be incremented to the first available number that has no current configuration set in the resources configuration window. Because a configuration has been made for analog value block instances up to 27, these new blocks range from 28 to 30. There is a new keyboard shortcut that adds monitor blocks to all unconnected output ports of one or more selected blocks. Select the blocks and press Control Space. Update the ECGFX program with any changes made to the controller's BACnet objects that were made by another non-ECGFX program source. For example, changes made to the controller's BACnet objects through Niagara AX or Envision. This was a brief summary of the many new features in ECGFX program version 5.3. For additional information regarding Envision, ECGFX program, or the Distech Controls Eclipse series controllers, please visit www.distechcontrols.com or see our other video tutorials, and thank you for watching.